Hello and welcome to the second of my series on how to produce a GPX synchronized video file. Now what I'm going to show you here is how to correct timestamps in a GPX file after you've cut out sections of your video and you want to cut out sections of your GPX file to maintain synchronization between the two. Now here I've got a GPX file already loaded and if I click on this point you can see it's got a timestamp of 7 minutes 53 7 7 o'clock in the morning, 53 minutes and 11 seconds. And if I click on the next one, that's 16 seconds. So the interval between these points is not in one second intervals. And that makes life a lot harder later on. So we're going to correct that. And to correct that, we're going to use a simple program called GPS Babel. And we'll just click the download page. And you can download the appropriate executable for your operating system. Now GPS Babel has a graphical user interface, but it's also got a command line interface, which is really, really easy to use, I promise you. And you don't need to peruse the documentation here on the interpolates function, because I'm going to give you the commands in the video description. And I'll show you these commands now. Here we have a command to call up GPS Babel. We have an input GPX and a path to that input GPX, so where it is on your hard drive. And then we're going to tell it to interpolate with time, time equals one. So every time there is a GPX point that's more than one second after its neighbor, it's going to introduce or interpolate points between the two so that we have one second intervals. And then we want to tell it where to output the GPX file by giving it a path here. So here I've got my, let's show you, um, my Explorer here, Dungeon S to Old Romney, not one second. And if I pop that in the input there, and I have an output here, which is Babel one second appended to the file name. So I can just copy that, copy, and go to my command line, right click and paste, and there we are. If I open File Explorer, you'll see that there's a file now in there, and that should have one second intervals. So let's see that on GPS Prune. Here we are, let's click this one. 7.53 and 11, 7.53 and 12. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete the loop. So I've got a GPX file with a nice track here, but I've got a loop that I don't want. So I'm going to delete that. So if I've deleted that loop from the video, obviously I need to delete it from the GPX file. And I think I don't want this point here. That's the start of my loop. Perhaps I don't want that there. Let's click that as my start of my range. And it's highlighted the loop, but also the bit beyond. So then I think I want to keep this point, which I'm keeping, obviously, I'm starting beyond that, but keep this point, which that point's going to join onto. So if I click here, and I'm going to choose that as my range end. So if we look there, now I've selected just the loop. And if I delete those points, here we have a straight track. Now if I click here, that's 7.53 and 6 seconds. And the next point is 7.54 and 54 seconds. So there's more than a minute between them. And that's not going to sit well with the synchronization with your video. So we need to correct that. So I'm going to export this GPX and I'm going to, I've got UTF-8 encoding, include timestamps and copy source XML. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to call it uh, one second cut. So I'll save that. So now I've saved that, I need to correct it. So we'll move on to another command. So again, we're calling up GPS Babel. We've got an input GPX file, and that input is the one we've just cut there. And then we're going to give it fake time here. And we're going to start off an arbitrary time and then add one second to each point going onwards. We're going to output a GPX file and we're going to call it back to one second. So if I copy that there, I'll just show you my file explorer here. It's come up here. A quick way to um, copy a path to a file without having to write it out is to shift and right click and choose copy as path. But we've already done that here and we're just going to go to our command line and press paste that and press enter. And now if we go to our file explorer, 
we've got another file in here. So let's just drag that into GPS Prune and show you what those points are doing. So if I'm here, I can press Control and the arrow key to shift between points. I've got 202, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So these are all sequential points with one second intervals. So that's our GPX file corrected and that should be able to sync with the video. And our aim really is to remove the same time segment from the video as the GPX file. But this has been pretty easy. As you can see, the command line is nothing to be afraid of and it makes life really, really simple. So if you find this video helpful, please click the like button and also subscribe to my channel.